guys, I got this call from this guy. Um, I guess his wife said that he's on oxygen, they need the air conditioning. And he's got two systems. One of them, the main one on the first floor that he uses mostly. Uh, they put the breaker on, it'll run for like a couple of minutes and trip the breaker. Well, I'm going to go over there and see what's going on. The second floor one he says he never uses, but he wants me to check them both. So I'm on my way over there to see what's going on with that. Might be interesting. Who the hell knows what it is? Where are the York units tripping the breaker? Five tons. Snow legs. Stay cool. School compressor. Let's see if I can find out why it's tripping the breaker. Look at a mouse there. Well, what's left to a mouse? Another stowaway. I'm sure that's not doing good for the for the unit. Put the breaker off anyway. Dead. Dead mouse. Check on these capacitors. The common will have four poles, the compressor will have three, and the fan will have two. Like on this, I don't know what goes away. I know this is the this is the compressor because it's got the three legs. This is the red's the common, it's got four poles. I'm gonna check the capacitor. Alright, this one's reading five. That part's okay. The fan part's okay. The compressor, let's see the compressor part. Yeah, it's showing good. 57.5. So I'm good with that. Capacitor's okay. That's not what's giving any problems. Right up. <clears throat> they was complaining about it would run for a couple of minutes and then trip the breaker. I don't see anything wrong with it. Capacitor is okay. I'm gonna put my gauges on it. Probably low on charge, it doesn't seem warm. We'll let it run for a little bit. 22, put my gauges on it, we'll see what happens. Might have to one off on thermal overload. Alright, guys, I got a capillary tube system here hooked up to this setup. Look at the temperature coming back on my liquid line, my uh, suction line. 32 degrees, flooding back like a bitch. So I'm gonna have to take some out. I got zero degree superheat. I got nothing for superheat. I gotta take some out. Try to get a little bit of superheat coming back. I can't be coming back at 32. 
hear the compressor. It sounds like it's really struggling here. Mismatched equipment here again. I'll check the filter. He's running a depleted filter. And, um, the returns look a little undersized too, but I gotta get some super heat. Look a little bit old. Did my wet bulb, it was 70. Um, 70 on a wet bulb inside, 85 outside. My super heat should be about 22. There's nothing. Capillary tube system inside. This is one of those where you know you gotta try to do the best you can with what you got here. Yeah. I'm not gonna breathe a little life in that compressor. Can't run this one. She's happy with this unit. It's pulling down inside. Says if it runs for four days, she's gonna recommend me on the Angie's list. <laughs> if it runs for four days, she says. <clears throat> Unbelievable. I'll come back on this one. This is a second floor unit. They're not even using it. Actually, they're living on the first floor, so I'll come back. 